2015 Petal Southern Miss Powwow into the Petal Middle School Gym. Our head staff was impressive. Adam Bell, a Mississippi Choctaw, was our head man. Mr. Bell is a feather dancer. But Fawn Galvan, our head lady, is a member of the Paiute and Yaku tribes. Miss Galvan is a southern cloth and buckskin dancer. She's a captain in the U.S. Army. Our head gourd dancer, Tony Conrad, comes to all the southeastern powwows. He's well respected in the powwow circle. Our arena director was Jeff Whaley from the Moa tribe of Alabama. Our MC, Barry Harden, is an adopted member of the Comanche Nation. He was one of the co-founders of Crazy Crow Trading Post, a mail order supply company that most Indians use for beads and regalia items. Our drum was Southern Thunder from Pawnee, Oklahoma. We had guests that came from as far as Essex, England to our powwow. They scheduled their trip to the United States around our powwow. Andrew Hinkabine, a representative for Senator Wicker, came to our powwow. This year we invited Jeanette Stone as our humanity scholar to demonstrate plant and lichen dyes for our powwow dancers, vendors, and guests. At one time, plant and lichen dyes were used as paint for the decoration of buckskin outfits, for tattooing, for dyeing basket materials, and other decorative and ceremonial endeavors. We don't want to lose our knowledge of plant dyes. This year we worked in conjunction with local amateur radio operators to develop a special event station honoring Native American code talkers and advertising the event. The FCC was petitioned by this group and received a call sign, WOW, to be used two weeks prior to the event through the conclusion. As a result of WOW, a total of 5,554 contacts were made. Over 14,000 different people looked at the site. There were contacts in 1,001 U.S. counties and parishes, all 50 states, all Canadian provinces, on all continents, and 92 countries. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. by bringing together groups of Indians from disparate tribes to celebrate our common and also different ways. Powwows help other Mississippi folks by reminding them of the first Mississippians of our traditions that Indians still exist. You know, before the Delta Blues, before we knew the term Delta even, there were Choctaw, Chickasaw, Tunica, Biloxi, Natchez, Caddo, Pascagoula, and Chachuma songs sung across the Mississippi. Before the Blues Trail, there were trade routes that zigged and zagged across the state and joined our state with most of the rest of the entire Americas. Before bacon, greens, and apple pie, there was deer jerky hominy or banaha and fruit dumplings made from animals and plants that were natives here in Mississippi, with corn planted as one of the three sisters. Before doctors and pills, there were healers and herbs and prayers. And before there were city councils, there were tribal councils. Blue-veiled women, war chiefs, peace chiefs who presided over the councils, where issues as important as life and death were decided. The story of Mississippi begins with these tribes and others, this history, and more. We are remembering our ancient traditions and making new traditions as we gather in the circle. Thank you for sponsoring our powwow.